Wow, today is a busy day. We are setting up in the sanctuary for tomorrow's packing party for Operation Christmas Child. And we will be packing 600 boxes tomorrow, starting at 10 a.m. And if you are joining us, we have a couple things for you to remember. In fact, these should be remembered no matter where you are packing boxes. So whether you're doing at home or with another group from your neighborhood or a Bible study, if you're doing boxes, you need to know these things. First of all, the theme for this year is fun, full, and personalized. Make sure that your boxes are fun. Be putting in items that are going to bring joy and laughter to a child. These wow items really make an impact. Secondly, make sure that your boxes are full. Not only with items, but also full of love and prayers. And make sure that your boxes are personalized. Be sure to write a personal note, introducing yourself to the child that will receive your box. And make sure that you put a picture in the box as well. A picture of you and your family will be a treasured keepsake. So if you're joining us tomorrow, be sure to bring some pictures to put in the boxes that you're gonna pack. Now, I don't know about yours, but my weekend is filled with Operation Christmas Child and also basketball, soccer, a school play, football, hockey, lesson preparation for Sunday school, youth group, Monday Bible study and Wild Wednesday, and finalizing plans for our two OCC mission trips surrounding Thanksgiving, all while trying to get enough sleep to keep going. Care of our bodies is important but care of our souls is important too, even more important. In 3 John verse 2, we read, Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. You see, our bodies are like earth suits that will eventually die and be replaced with a new celestial Christ-like body. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, Paul writes, But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. The treasure that he's writing about that matters most and that will last throughout all eternity is your soul. John writes that his hope for us is that we may prosper in all things just as our soul prospers. And our soul prospers when we stay connected to God. Someone has estimated that the average body contains enough phosphorus to make 800,000 match heads. So, does that make us striking? We also have enough sugar in our body to make 60 sugar cubes. Unless, of course, you live in the South and your body runs on sweet tea then I'm sure it's a whole lot more than 60. There's enough salt in our bodies to cover 20 spoons. And there's enough iron to make $20 worth of nails. As for the rest, it's pretty much just dust and water. Now the story is told of a little boy who was taught Genesis 3.19 in Sunday school. What does Genesis 3.19 say? By the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. One day, when the little boy was looking under his bed, his mother asked him, What are you looking at? And he replied, My Sunday school teacher said that we come from dust and go back to dust, so there must be somebody under my bed, but I can't tell if they are coming or going. But seriously though, since our body is temporal and our soul is eternal, it is essential that we take the long view, that we see the big picture, and that we practice taking care of our soul. It is important that we nurture our soul daily from God's Word, that we fortify it and enrich it by spending time with God each day in prayer. We need to discover the talents and the treasures that he is placed within us, and then invest those into the kingdom of God. 
just like we are investing time and resources into service evangelism this weekend by participating with Operation Christmas Child, which is gonna reach out to millions of children, their families, and their communities all over the world with the love of Jesus Christ. So the next time that someone says to you, take care of yourself, think not only about your body, but also about your soul. And today is National Cappuccino Day. So that might, might make your body and your soul feel a little better too. Now, in addition to tomorrow's OCC packing party, we also have a Surviving the Holidays luncheon this Sunday for those who are trying to navigate the coming holiday season without a loved one. Our Grief Share program is providing the luncheon and the program, and it is a great resource to take advantage of for those of you who are mourning the loss of a loved one. It will take place this Sunday afternoon from 12.30 until 3 p.m. at the church. For more information, you can contact the church office today. I hope that you will join us this Sunday for worship at 9 or 11 a.m. And as always, if you can't join us in person, remember that you can worship with us anytime on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel at The Village Church at World Golf Village. And one more thing. If you're looking for a fun night out that will get you in the spirit of Christmas, the movie The Best Christmas Pageant Ever opens in theaters today. It's a great film for the entire family that will spark some great discussions around the dinner table. Take the time to check it out. You won't regret it. Have a great weekend, and I hope to see you tomorrow as we pack shoeboxes. I love you. Bye-bye.